On our discussion today, I'm basically going to show you how to catch carotene. So I'm doing the double hook carotene trace as well as the baiting. For that we require some latex cotton for the baiting part of it, our sardine, three quarter ounce, one ounce, it depends on the, the surge in the water, what size sinker you want. 92247, that's the mustard, 92247 hook, size 9. I found that size 9 just seems to work so much better for the carotene. It is a small hook, but you definitely hook the carotene. 4.5 kilo maxima is all that you require. And it is as simple as this. What we're going to do, take our nylon, we're going to make a loop here, which obviously is going to be where our sinker goes. So, what we do is we take our nylon, double it, go over, through once, go through twice. So basically that knot is a double knot, figure of eight, over there. And we cut it off as cleanly as we can. From there we're going to do what they call a dropper knot. Basically you need something that you can actually attach this to because you need a bit of resistance on it. So, lovely, my coffee, obviously. There we go. Now to make the dropper knot, I'm going to put my spectacles on for this, is basically take some nylon and you're making, you taking the nylon and you're actually wrapping it around like that. If you can see what I'm doing, again, I'll just show you. Take it like that. Now, Hold this part down and give a bit of tension to it. Now we take the other side of the line and we just wrap it around four to five times. Three, four, five times. This part of it, we've made a loop. So we stick it through the loop and we pull it. Now, can you see what that looks like? Best way to do it is if you actually take it and move them close together and you just keep tension on it ever so slightly. As soon as those two lines crisscross, bit of lubrication, a bit of tension, and there your knot pulls tight. Okay, then what we do is just either the top or the bottom, doesn't really matter, I prefer to bite the top one off. There we go, so basically you've got one strand coming off, let's put that back. You've basically got one strand coming off. Now what we do to measure it is we don't want it longer than the sinker. So about there, we will just give it a little bit of a snip. Okay. Now, to make the second one, we just push that a bit further away. And about 30 centimeters apart, we make the second dropper knot. And again, all I'm doing is taking the line, further away. Okay. So again, all we do is we just go across like that, about 30 centimeters away, and we just start twisting the line around the other line four or five times. Keep the loop, open it up, go through it. There the two are, pull them together, pull, 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 it gets there, a bit of lubrication, because the line is very, very weak, if I can call it that. It's 4.5 kilos. We take this end bit again, and we just bite it all. We make sure it's not longer than that loop there, so we'll cut it off over here. We take this part, and we just cut it off there. Okay. Now, to attach the hook, it's a simple figure of eight. Nothing fancy about it. There we go, we go through the eye, put your finger inside it like so, and what we do is we just make a figure of eight, one, two, three times around, bit of lubrication, slide down, and of course we just bite it off or cut it with a pair of scissors. Next one. Closer again. Go through the eye. 
put your finger in there and again just one two three line goes through it again slide down to form your figure of eight bit of lubrication and just slide it all the way down just cut or bite off the end okay these little tag ends that come off are about 20 centimeters apart it's 30 from the end of the sinker so it's 30 from there to there 20 from there to there 30 from there to there and 20 from there to there these do tangle up but it's something that you can sort out while you're fishing and that's basically the knot let me just put the sinker on show you the full trace the loop part let me just take the sinker we go through the eye of the sinker pull it down over him pull back through and that's basically our sinker and our double hook trace on the end we'll attach a little swivel about there and your line or your braid can be attached to it now to bait it up for the carrows we'll just move all these things out the way <coughs> one of the best parts of the sardine is actually the intestine part the very hard part but when it comes to actually fishing for them I find the best way to do it especially because you're fishing for a very small fish is to just take a knife and lightly cut grooves into the flesh like this you don't have to cut too deeply into it because you actually only want the brown part the part that's along here which is full of oil okay so basically we put our, hook, our knife in and we just cut little pieces like that so basically what you're doing is you're ending up with pieces of sardine that's about that size at the end of the day I'm going to cut them open here okay but like I said the best part of the whole sardine and I find you'll end up catching two or three so, uh, carrows on this part over any of those other parts is this little part here if you open it up you'll find there's a very hard intestine piece which is basically that piece over there it's a very hard piece of stomach obviously with a little bit of other stuff attached to it but that there is my favorite part so we'll take that and it's as simple as this You basically start at the top of the actual bait through through and that's pretty much all you have to do with that hard part of the stomach the top hook We just take our, uh, any piece doesn't make a difference. Just to go through it, like that. Just to go through it and back through it. And you just twist that last little piece down the side of it. So that's basically the size of the bait that we're using. If you find that you've got to throw far, and you've got to put cotton on because you're not getting the distance that you require this is nice if you just throw in very very closely you don't need any cotton but if you're throwing further just a little bit of this thin latex cotton around the base of your sardine like that is all that you require So it ends up looking pretty much like that there okay so that's basically your whole bait all made up ready for quarantine so let's just give it to you quickly the entire length of it that's basically what the trace looks like 
in the water. Maybe it's dry, that's all. I don't know. Just have to look at it. Okay.